Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. President of the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, Vitold Banker, says plans are advanced to increase the funding granted to Jamaica and other Caribbean nations in the fight against doping in sports. Banker, who is in Jamaica for the World Anti-Doping Agency's two-day forum for Caribbean ministers of sports, which gets going on Tuesday, made the disclosure to TVJ Sports this morning. First of all, uh, slowly we want to increase the, 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 the budget. We want to, we want to help them. Uh, we want to increase the number of um, tests uh, conducted in the, uh, in the region. And uh, what we want to uh, actually, and this is one of the, the biggest goals, what we want to find is education, right? Education is a key. And this is something which we have to improve in the in the region because you know uh, when when we look at this perspective from 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 education perspective, it, it, there is a room for improvement. Ministers from the Bahamas, Barbados, Bermuda, St Kitts and Nevis, Suriname, and Trinidad and Tobago are among representatives from 18 countries that are expected to participate in the WADA forum at the Jamaica Conference Centre. It's the third consecutive year that WADA is meeting with ministers of sport in the Caribbean to discuss anti-doping matters. Now, the West Indies under-19 bowlers had a good first outing in South Africa as they got their final leg of preparation for the ICC Under-19 World Cup off to a winning start with a six-wicket victory over New Zealand at the Bram Fisher Oval. Jamaicans Deshaun James and Ryan Edwards has won, had one for 11 and one for 18 respectively, as New Zealand were bowled out for just 131 in 39.2 overs. Nathan Seeley was the pick of the Caribbean bowlers with four for 21. Tom Jones top scored for New Zealand with 24, while Lachlan Stackpole made 23. In their run chase, the West Indies under-19s got to victory at 132 for four in 24.5 overs. Joshua Dorn top scored with an unbeaten 45, while Jewel Andrew was left unbeaten on 36. Jordan Johnson made 14, while two other Jamaicans, opener Adrian Weir and Stephen Wedderburn, made 3 and 10 respectively. The West Indies will open their Under-19 World Cup campaign on January 19 against hosts South Africa. Now, President of the Intersecondary School Sports Association, Issa Keith Wellington, says the All Manning and the Costa Cup matchup remains an important part of the local schoolboy football season as it provides opportunities for players to attract scholarship and professional opportunities. Wellington explained the significance of the game, which the All Manning Cup team won 2-1 against the All Costa Cup team this over the weekend. We think that it's, it's, it's um, relevant because it's an opportunity for us to give further exposure to our best talents from the competition. I know there is some debate going around now about the contribution of schoolboy football to national programs. Um, and we think it's, this is just one opportunity to get everybody together or at least a good representation of the quality that is on hand. And even though he agrees with the national youth coach, John Wall, about uh, not enough football being played in Jamaica, he believes that the organization is unable to stretch the season. What ISA is responsible is for organizing competition on a social level. Uh, we can't necessarily organize football on a seven, eight month um, cycle because the resources are just not there within our schools. Now, Arnett Gardens could go as high as second in the standings on goal difference with a win over Dunbar Holden in the Ray and Nephew Jamaica Premier League today. The clash will be the second of a doubleheader at the Stadium East Field. Arnett are currently fifth on 24 points, the same as Tivoli Gardens in fifth. Dunbeholden are currently sixth on 21 points. Both teams are looking to rebound from losses in their last outings. Kickoff is at 7.30. Vare United battle Malines United in the early encounter. Vare are eighth on 18 points, while Malines are just above the relegation zone in 13th on 8 points. That match gets underway at 5.00. And that's it for your Midday Sports Report. Shamela? Thank you, Jordan. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shamela Pullen. Join us at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news sports and production teams. Good afternoon.